All right, so I just got another package. Well, first off, what up, everybody? You already know Big Spank Dog, Puffinstein, and Basement Click. Um, like, subscribe, share, comment, and yeah, this is a COMC unboxing, and um, I forgot what I ordered, but you know, here I got some stuff here too that. These are from other purchases. Sometimes you can see the packages over here, don't you? Yeah. Like, see, like, this is how they come. Some of them I haven't even opened yet. But these right here, if you look, it's like, you know, we might have seen this one in the other episode. That was Anthony Edwards. But then let me see one of the better ones. Um, yeah, the green lamello stick. I'm, I don't know which ones I showed you in the last one. But then the funny thing is, is that I got another one on the other side. So that's doubles. The same exact card. That's like a $20, $30 card. And if you've been watching basketball, you know LaMelo is on a tear right now. This is a big shout out to all the, 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 the really hot players right now. The Mellow Ball, Shea Gilgis Alexander, or Gilgis, I don't know how you pronounce it. Tyrese Halliburton is still really hot. Kevin Durant's been on a tear. Um, of course, Jokic, Giannis, and Joel Embiid, the three MVP fighters. Every year they're in one, two, and three. And usually Jokic is at the top in the last three years. Four, in the last four years, even though he lost last year's MVP, he was number one in the world. So even the stats said that he should have won the MVP. And he should win it this year, it's looking like. This man, if they really say they should, they robbed him of the MVP last year, and he's going to get it this year, they're saying that he should have won four in a row. That's crazy. I can't believe they're insulting this man like that. I love it, though. I love it, because then I get the Jamal Murray's for a good price. Jamal Murray is vicious. He's cold-blooded, cold, it's cold, ice cold. I already told you guys, you know, he's a big sleeper. There's a guy who was like the 42nd pick or like the 36th pick. And he's he's like um 22nd in the whole world right now. But anyway, let's get to the box. Because, like I said, I don't want to take up a lot of time. You know, we all got stuff to do. I always say that. Time becomes more precious as you get older. The kids are a little more carefree, and even, I would say, up until you get older, you know, the time appreciation thing starts more so then. Because, um, yeah, man, time is um, priceless. So, but anyway, let me not start contemplating and um, theorizing and all that stuff. Let's get to the cards. Right now, I'm looking at a Donovan Mitchell. You know what's crazy? When we shot the last video, I was looking at the cards and I wasn't saying nothing. And then I spoke to my wife and she was like, why are you looking at the cards? You might want to talk about what you're seeing. And then she was absolutely right. Because, like, you know, of course, when I hold it up, like, that's a Donovan Mitchell. You know, oh, matter of fact, they come with all plastic stuck in them. <laughs> I forgot you got to undo the plastics. I mean, the, the receipts. They, yo, they put a receipt in every... Oh, that was the front one. That's the front one. They do put a receipt in every one. But they don't put a receipt in the front. But they put a receipt on the top one. So there's only one card with two receipts front and back. And the rest are just in the back. But that's crazy though, right? Look at the care. They give you the top loaders for free. So that even discounts some of the shipping because top loaders are expensive. Look at that. Receipt and top loader for every card. All right. So we got Donovan Mitchell, Chet Holmgren, Tyrese Halliburton, Sam Howell, Sam Howell, Jason Tatum, Jason Tatum, Luka Doncic, De'Aaron Fox, Tyrese Halliburton. Now, I wasn't saying whether they were base or parallel. So we're going to go through that one more time. Donovan Mitchell, Prism Base, Rookie Card. Chet Holmgren, Base, Prism, Rookie Card. Not the draft picks version, the real version. And then that's what I meant. See, that those are bases. That's a red, white, and blue hologram or um, 
refract or whatever you want to call it. They're really called prisms. But it's redundant because the, the, the company is called prism. So it would be a red, white, and blue prism prism. You're not doing that. These are the two Sam Howe base rookies. He's hot right now. But the one thing is with Sam Howe, the, the yardage is on um, deceiving because his QB ratings are like a 44. He's 22nd. He's number one in yardage and 22nd in QB rating. That's like a, a contradiction. So don't let the yards fool you because he's doing a lot of almost everything else wrong. He's getting sacked a lot. He's throwing interceptions. He's, um, um, his completion rate, um, rate isn't high. His um, completion percentage isn't high. Um, you know, but, you know, he gets off, um, um, a nice amount of attempts. I guess, um, the defense is good in some way. And, um, when he throws a pass, it's not for three yards. He throws bombs. So, but Sam Howe, I mess with Sam Howe, but he... You know the yardage things are like I said. It's a little tricky. You know, it's it's this it's this um deceiving, and um um he could be doing better even though he got, he got three thousand four hundred yards on the year. He's gonna be the yardage leader maybe, and the set and the twenty second best quarterback in the league. There's only like thirty teams. How you got the lead in yards, and you're the twenty second best quarterback. It's literally a contradiction. So the yardage is uh, misleading. That was the word I was looking for. Um, he's having a mediocre season for a guy who's leading the league in yards. Next. Jason Tatum. That's a base. That's a second year. This That's how good the kid is. That I would buy a second year base card of his. But it only cost me a dollar. So, you know, it, it's something that I anticipate being like $15, $20 coming soon. And then, you know, so I get doubles. I don't play. You've seen these cards already earlier in the deck, you know, but there's a red, white, and blue um, Tyrese Halliburton, Jason Tatum, Luka Doncic, and a De'Aaron Fox base. Okay. Let's see what we got in here. Um, Like I said, that's what I meant. The front one always got two receipts. Oh, might have um. Oh, here it goes. I don't know why they did that. They they made a mistake on that one. This was supposed to be the front one. See, it has the receipt, and then on the back again the receipt. But then the rest of them on the front. They're clear. So, see, I stepped it up with the Tatum's in the earlier deck. You only seen a Tatum base second year. This is the green one. Now, that's a little better. The one, the regular one is right here. Look, I'll show them in contrast. So, that's the green one, and that's the, um, base one. One cost a dollar, the other one cost, like, six. Right? And, um, let me take the, where's the top one? This is the top one. Let me take the extra the extra receipt out of there. It was a Chet Holmgren in the top one. Let me reverse them. All right. I'm going to call them out loud. <clears throat> Chet Holmgren Prism Rookie Card Base. Tyrese Halliburton Prism Rookie Card Green Parallel. Chet Holmgren Rookie Card Prism Base. Chet Holmgren Rookie Card Draft pick prism base. Oh, not base. Hyper. This is a silver, but they have regular silver and they have hyper silver. I don't know if you could get a good look on it, but if you look closely, it has like ridges inside the silver. That's a hyper silver. And the funny thing is, is that it used to be worth a lot less than the regular silver. But recently, I guess they noticed that there's about the same amount made. And they started bringing the prices of the Hyper Prism up. You know, Donovan Mitchell, base rookie, Prism. Um, Chet Holmgren, base rookie, Prism. Jason Tatum, second year, Prism Parallel, Green. 
I just love the way that one looks. That's my boy, too. i seen him coming before everybody. That's the year they picked Markel Fultz first and Lonzo Ball second, and he was third. But, you know, they didn't get it too, too wrong. Well, Markel Fultz, they, Fultz, they got very wrong. But um, um, Lonzo Ball was looking like he was going to be something special till he got the knee problems. So, but yeah, you know, like I said, I buy a lot of doubles. So in that deck, there's a couple that you've seen in the deck before. Right. See, like I said, they always give you the receipt on the front and back in the first one. Pop that off. It's a Sam Howell base rookie. All right, so it's a Sam Howell base rookie, Luka Doncic, Luka Doncic second year base card, Sam Howell base prism rookie, Jason Tatum Silver. This is probably one of the better cards too. This is like a fifteen dollar card, twenty dollar card. You know, that's the silver version. They're not as limited as some of the uh, some of the others, but they're the most iconic out of all the parallels. There's literally like thirty. There's literally like thirty colors or something like that. See, like I said, like I'll give you an example, real quick. Right there, you got a red, white, and blue, a green, and a hyper prism. In total, there's like 30 colors. They have tiger stripe, all sorts of crazy stuff. Yeah, these are ones that I pretty much said to you before. The silver you hadn't seen before, the Jason Tatum, but it's another Sam Howell base, Luka Doncic, second year, Donovan Mitchell rookie card. Um, yeah, pretty much same stuff. These are the more expensive ones, probably, because they got the little pack there. I don't know if they did that on purpose, but these are the, the PSA graded ones that I got off of them. Yeah, see, this is a different level of price. Not super, because I didn't go out of... Depends. Sometimes I'll go hard if, if it makes sense. These made sense from them. These are the Jason Tatum second year silvers, but PSA 9s. I have the 10s. I have the silver 10s, the second year Jason Tatum's PSA 10, but these are 9s. I quote these for like 30 bucks. They're worth it. He's definitely, nothing stopping him but injury. So, God forbid any of these guys get hurt. Some, one or two of them is going to get hurt. With some of them, you can hit the head. You can hit it on the head, but then the injury comes along. And whether you were right about them being stars or not, it doesn't matter. That, this is a De'Aaron Fox um, PSA 9 base prism rookie. You know. And um, let's go through the last pack. And I'm going to tell you something. You know, with these cards I got from other dealers, you know, separate dealers, not like COMC, all of these. I got them all in packages, single packages like this. Not in that giant box you saw. So, yeah, it's harder to leave feedback when you do that. I got 40 cards from one company. With this, it's 40 cards from 40 people. You got to leave 40 feedbacks. So, it's, that's annoying. I mean, you got to leave it with the COMC, but like I said, um, sometimes when you buy multiple items for one person, it's way easier. And um, let me see what else is here. But, yeah, all this stuff was bought from separate dealers. Let's go through this last pack. See if there's anything higher price. The higher the highest price stuff was the um these the 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 Jason Tatum's. I mean I have you know better stuff than this, but um in this certain purchase these these were the as high as I went, like thirty bucks on one card. And but you if you go on eBay you'll see other people selling this same card for sixty, seventy. And that's why I bought it. Yeah, a bunch of base cards. You've seen all this stuff before. A lot of doubles. Like I said, um, doubling up, tripling up, and I mean getting a hundred of the same card. It don't matter because if, like, let's say when LeBron came out. When LeBron came out, I remember the tops. 
the Topps rookie was twenty dollars, which is high for a just released rookie, and you know nothing about him and everybody else's. Like that's the Dwayne Wade rookie year, the Chris Bosh rookie year, the Carmelo Anthony rookie year. So LeBron was twenty, and the next one to him was either Carmelo or Dwayne Wade, and they were all the way down to like eight dollars. So right away, LeBron was 20, Dwayne Wade and Carmelo were like 8 and 8, and Chris Bosh was probably the next one at $5. So um, um, what I was going to say was is that they come out cheap. So if you would have been around when LeBron's rookie card was $20, doubles aren't only not a bad thing, they're the greatest thing ever. Imagine if you were smart enough to buy a 1000 LeBron's for 20 bucks at that time. You would have dropped like 20 grand on LeBron's. Thousand for 20, for 20, 20 dollars? Yeah, that's 20,000. You would have been a millionaire. Those LeBron's are a thousand dollars each. You would have took a 20 dollar bill, turned it into a thousand dollars a thousand times. Literally would have been a million, I think. You would have turned twenty grand into a million dollars. That's why that's me just explaining why like if I put all the cards together, you would see five of these. Cause it don't matter. It's it's like, you know, it's stock. So but anyway, I know we all got our things to do. I'm gonna let you go. Puffinstein, Spank Dog, Basement Click, Ridgewood, Bushwick, Bed Style. You already know what it is. Big New York stuff, because I know YouTube wants us not to be vulgar. And, um, yeah, it's a badass company right there. COMC, I'm out. All right, one more thing. I actually came back on to attach this video to tell you guys, because it kind of relates to the video. So, because I told you everybody that was on a tear, I told you um, Jokic and Bede, and it wasn't even onto Takumpo. The crazy thing was it was Luca. It's almost like um the sign of the times is happening. It used to always be um Jokic and Bede and onto Takumpo at the top three for like the last like four years. It's the first time we're coming towards sixteen games into the season and the top three are Jokic and Bede and Doncic. You know, he's looking like it's, it's... I mean, we already know Doncic is real. But, you know, till he gets that, you know, ever so elusive ring. You know, Shea Jogis is like lights out. He's 93% from the free, um, free throw line. He's, um... I believe he's 90-50-40. Basketball players know what that means. 90% from the free throw line, 50% from the field, and 40% from the three-point line. So, um, but anyway, I wanted to tell you the people that dropped off. The guys that were really high up and they're not no more. And LaMelo Ball just came streaking out of nowhere. People were saying Anthony Edwards, you know, because they're from the same draft. That's an ill draft. Tyrese Halliburton, Anthony Edwards, and Lamelo Ball all in the same year. That's like the Shea Gilgis, Luka Doncic, Trey Young, Miles Bridges draft. And there's even more. You go on to the DeAndre Ayton in that one. So, but anyway, oh, even Mikhail Bridges, Cameron Johnson. The, the brothers were drafted in the same year, Mikhail and Miles. So, but anyway, the guys that have big drop offs that you got to be a little careful with was Steph. As crazy, well, he's he gonna go back up. To be honest with you, so erase that one. Trey, Trey was at number forty something. He's at eighteen now. That goes. That's why I said when um that that the Luca rookie year, the draft was an ill year. That's why I said Trey Young, man. He's the eighteenth best player in the NBA right now, in the world right now. Bam is. I don't believe Bam is doing this good. He's nineteenth. You know, and Anthony Edwards is, is 20th. All right, but people, but Steph was up in the top, like, seven, top ten at the beginning. He fell. Um, who else? Oh, Tyrese Maxey. Tyrese Maxey was in the top five, top seven. He's 16 now. 
Um, Desmond Bain took a, He was the one of the biggest drop-offs. Desmond Bain was like top eight. He's 27 now. Um, anybody else that had a big drop-off? Tyler Harrow. You know, he, he, I think he was, you know, he was never up in the top. But he, he had cracked the top 20, I think. And he's back down to 36 right now. And um, that's pretty much it. I'm surprised that Kawhi's at 40. But, like, Kawhi's crazy. Kawhi is really the guy that'll have a, a season where he performs good enough that they get into a good spot in the playoffs. And he'll let loose in the playoffs. I like Kawhi Leonard. Don't even, yo, my biggest sleeper out of the top 50, because that's what I'm looking at. The top 50 NBA players right now. Jimmy Butler's at 45. Jalen Brunson's at 37. DeJounte Murray, oh, that's good to see him at 35. Zion Williamson at 34. All these guys are nasty. Cam Thomas is, like, for Brooklyn, that's crazy. Like, he's really, like, was, he, first of all, he's short. Second of all, he, I, I don't think he was too high a pick. He's averaging 27 points a game. You know, and um, like I said, for all my Victor Wembenyama lovers slash haters, he, your boy is doing the do. He's a rookie. First 16 games, 19 points, 9 rebounds. Almost 3 blocks per game. He's doing the do. And um, his field goal percentage could be better. But listen to this. Victor Wembenyama fires almost two three-pointers a game at seven foot five or seven foot four, something like that. Meanwhile, Ben Simmons, who's like six inches shorter, won't even attempt one. And this kid is knocking down 1.4 three-pointers a game. That means in 10 games, he knocks down 14 three-pointers. That's great. So, but yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. I told you the drop-offs, and because um, I told you the guys who rose, I didn't want you to be thinking, you know, certain time is a good time to buy people, and they're actually not performing well right now. So, yeah, anyway, I'm out. You already know.